President Putin has said that the Kremlin will not restrict internet access in Russia. His comments aim to diffuse growing tensions that Putin aims to clamp down on the internet in order to silence his critics. We don't intend to limit access to the internet, to put it under total control, to nationalize the internet, to limit legitimate interests and opportunities of people, NGOs and business. The Russian president once labeled the internet a CIA project and has in the past supported the idea of an entirely domestic network. Despite much of Russia's more traditional media being state-owned, the internet has until now remained largely off-limits. However, Putin has recently become increasingly influential in politics over media freedoms in the wake of international outcry over Moscow's aggression against Ukraine. Since February the 1st, Russian authorities have blocked dozens of websites and passed draconian laws requiring bloggers with over 3,000 daily readers to register with the country's media regulator. Wi-Fi users must also now provide passport data to sign into public hotspots. This April, the founder behind popular social media site of a contactier, Pavel Durov, resigned and fled Russia after security services demanded his company provide users personal data. The clampdown was, in part, sparked by online activity connected to Ukraine's recent pro-Western revolution and protests against Putin's regime in Russia during the winter of 2011 to 2012.